Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be converting a position time graph to a velocity time graph. And sometimes position could be called a distance graph or a displacement graph, but as long as we all know what we're talking about, we should be okay. The first thing that you have to remember is that the velocity is the slope of the position time graph. If you can understand that, you have got this totally made. That is the only concept we really need to drive in. Velocity is the slope. As long as we can figure out the slope in each region, we should be fine. So velocity is equal to the change in distance over the change in time in each little region. We're going to look at our first little region where we have a nice straight line that goes from 0, 0 to 2, 2. So we're going to look at this region from 0 to 2 seconds because that's where the first interesting things happen. That's a straight line. In that time, the distance ends at 2 and begins at 0. So the change in D is 2 minus 0. And our time is also 2 minus 0 for the seconds. We can chug that out and it equals 1 meter per second. Some folks wouldn't do the math. You just realize it was going up. But what we'll do is draw a line across for the velocity at a height of 1 to show that it was going at 1 meter per second for that time. The next region is from 2 to 3 seconds, where we have a straight line. In this region, it's a flat line. And if you've been discussing stories for position time graphs, you should know that that's a slope equal to 0. It's a flat line which means our velocity is equal to zero in that region, which means we can draw a little line from two seconds to three seconds at a height of zero. It's not moving during that time. The next region that we're going to look at that's a straight line is from three to five seconds. We see this little bit of a line that's going downwards. We fill this into our equation. V equals the change in distance, so our final distance point, is 1, subtract where the distance started here, 2, and we divide this by where the time ended, 5, subtract where the time began for this region, 3. We chug this out, we get negative 1 half meters per second, and that means over this region we went negative 1 half meters per second, from 3 to 4, and from 4 to 5. That's the velocity that we went. We're just graphing the slope of each region. The last time we have a straight line is from 5 to 6 seconds. It's that nice, tall, steep line. To find the slope of this line, we say the velocity equals our distance final, which is 4. Subtract the distance where this region began, which is 1. Divided by the time that this region ended, 6. Subtract the time that this region began, 5. We chug this out, and we're going to get an answer of 3. That means during this region, we were going 3 meters per second. We find the 3 on our velocity graph, and we make a straight line across at 3 for that duration of 5 to 6 seconds. This is the end. We have it. That is a velocity time graph. If you look at each chunk of the velocity time graph, you'll notice that that was a straight line in the position time graph up above. Each little straight line had a slope. We solved that slope by doing distance final minus distance initial divided by time final minus time initial. That gave us the slope, which was our velocity in this region. I hope that that was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.